What's good YouTube, it's Afro Miami's Ball. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get like a big, huge, thick sounding Mike Dean type of bass remade in Logic Pro using Logic Stock Plugin ES2. It's very easy and that's just the plugin you want to create those Mike Dean style synths. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Logic's ES2 synthesizer right over here. And uh, we're just gonna work with the default preset. It's really all you need for that type of sound. It's basically like a super saw synth. But what I like to do here, the first thing that I do is turn off oscillators two and three. You don't need them. Just drag the mixer over here and make sure you're set to oscillator one and leave it on the sawtooth right over here. And this is what it sounds like with just that one oscillator. All right, so it doesn't sound that good. So the next thing that you wanna do over here is, let's move this out of the way. The next thing you wanna do over here is set it to legato. This way only one note is going to be playing. And the notes will start to glide into each other rather than having that initial attack on every note that you hit, so. but it still sounds very basic and very bland. So the next thing you wanna do over here is turn on unison. And what this is going to do is gonna add in more voices to your sound. So right now we have it set on eight as a default. The sound's gonna sound a lot thicker. Right, if we pull this up, we can go all the way up to 32 voices, but if we go up to 16, I usually find is good. And the max I would usually go to you're gonna get a thicker type of oscillator with unison and the voice is set to a higher amount. Now we can go all the way up to 32, so you see what it sounds like. Volume may get a little louder. But the really special sort of sauce or the sound in the Mike Dean basses and synth sounds is usually the analogness that comes along with it. So to replicate that, we have this analog knob right here, which is essentially detuning. And what it's going to do is going to detune each one of these voices to give us a more warmer analog sound. So that's what I have right now. It's very digital sounding, but if I pull this up. We have that nice full Mike Dean analog bass sound in ES2. So for the analog knob over here, I don't like to push it more than one o'clock. If you pull it up too much, it starts to become a little bit detuned for my liking. So I'm gonna push that back to about one o'clock. And now they usually like to push the voices to about 16 here. pretty much have that Mike Dean bass sound right there. The next stuff is just going to be the sort of sprinkle on top of the sound. So we can go ahead and pull our cutoff fully open. But if you want a darker type of sound, bring that back to about 12 o'clock. And you got that bass sound. If you want a more Drake, Mike Dean, Travis Scott type of bass sound, what you wanna do is pull this down a little bit more, pull up the resonance a bit. Pull up the drive a little bit to fatten it out. If you're gonna do long sustained notes, you probably wanna pull up the glide a little bit to about like 30-ish. If you want something that's a little bit more exaggerated, pull that up to about like 10 o'clock-ish, and now the notes will be sort of dragged out a little bit more. And lastly, if you want the sound to be a little bit more nasally, pull up your resonance pretty much to about, I wanna say like three o'clock-ish, and you're gonna start to get that nasally bass type of sound that you hear in Mike Dean tracks. If 
from there you can go ahead and adjust the envelope to really to taste but i find the the way the stock is set up it's pretty good and if you want to add in a little bit more grit a little bit of distortion pull up the drive or you can go ahead and pull up this distortion knob over here and decide what kind of tone do you want dark or bright but the rest is really up to you other than that if you do have any questions we can go to chat in the comment section below this video if you did like this video or learn something new remember to drop a like or hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one we'll talk to y'all soon later peace